Now what product do you expect for the following reaction? Let us find the structure of methanol. So this is the aldehyde, alpha aldehyde and methanol. So it will contain only one carbon. So methanol is HCHO, that is basically formaldehyde. So formaldehyde has IPAC name that is called methanol. So this is HCHO reacting with ammonia. What will be the product you will have in this case? Now in this case you have to remember the product then only you can write. There is no way to derive the product using the mechanism. Now the product is erotropine. So the common name of the product is erotropine. And this is basically hexamethylene. Tetraamine. So erotropine is hexamethylene tetraamine. And a structure is something like this. So you have nitrogen you have CH2 so this is something like benzene so you have to remember the structure then you have nitrogen then you have CH2 so changing alternate CH2 and nitrogen have nitrogen so this is the group now in the middle also you have one nitrogen and this nitrogen is connected to this nitrogen by CH2 so you have a CH2 group here also CH2 group here and you have one CH2 group here so this molecule is basically called erotropine. The common name is more common name is more popular. Are you getting? So how will you write the structure? You have to write a, a skeleton of benzene ring, alternate nitrogen, carbon, nitrogen, carbon, and you have to put a nitrogen in the middle, and you have to connect this nitrogen to this nitrogen via a CH2 group. So you see how many nitrogen we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, that is the tetraamine. Now how many carbon you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's why you have hexamethylene. So this group is hexamethylene, CH2 group is methylene. So you have 6, so we are calling it hexamethylene. And you have 4 nitrogen, so derivative of ammonia. So this is hexamethylene tetraamine. The common name is more popular. So if you does not remember this reaction, you cannot write. So only one way, you have to remember this reaction. Now let us convert from methanol to ethanol. So how will you convert methanol to ethanol? So that is methanol is HCHO and ethanol is CH3CHO. So basically you have to increase one carbon. Many ways can be possible. Think yourself. So you have to increase one carbon, that is the important point we have. Okay, you can use cyanohydrin formation if you treat this with NaCNH plus and that will give you cyanohydrin HCOH and then you have CNH. Now what can you do next? Now you have to have COOH. So if I hydrolyze this one as 3O plus, I will have HCOH, H, COOH. Now if I do reduction, alcohol basically this aldehyde will get reduced to alcohol. But now I have to remove this OH also. 
so perhaps this synthesis might not work because I have to remove COOH, I have to remove OH also, so cyanohydrin formation. So even if I do redox and lithium aluminum hydride, I will have HCOH, CHO, are you getting? CH2OH, reduction of acid will be alcohol. Now I have to remove this OH. Okay, this synthesis is basically not a good synthesis. So let us try something different. Basically to add a carbon, CN- is a good way. Now let us use Grignard reagent. So if I have HCHO and if I treat this with CH3MZVR So if I have Grignard reagent, what will happen? This will attack here, so you will have H and if you do further hydrolysis so attack with Grignard reagent and then hydrolysis H plus you will have HCOH and then you have CH3H and now if you do oxidation, mild oxidation that is PCC, pyridinium chlorochromate are you getting? in that case alcohol will be converted into aldehyde CH3CHO so this is your ethanol. So you see what we are doing is, we are having formaldehyde, if you treat with Grignard reagent you are, you have and do the hydrolysis, you have increased one carbon, then do oxidation, mild oxidation, pyridinium chlorochromate, that is a mild oxidizing agent that only converts alcohol to aldehyde. So PCC is basically a mild oxidizing agent. This you have to remember. Are you getting? Let us discuss the next problem.